In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to cast the screen of your Android phone to a Chromecast connected to your TV so that you can show whatever is on your phone screen on the TV. A lot of apps like YouTube or Netflix or Google Photos will have a built-in cast button that you can use to directly play the video or view the photos on the TV and basically just use your phone as a remote control. So if you want to show something from one of those apps on the TV, using that built-in feature in the app will work better, videos will play smoother, and all the content will be able to fill up the entire TV screen rather than appearing in a phone-shaped box on the TV. But if whatever you want to show on the TV does not have a castable app like this, casting your entire phone screen can be a great backup option. And in this video, that's what Timmy's going to show you how to do. To get started, the phone and the Chromecast will need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So if you're at home, you should probably be good to go. But if you're at a friend's house or something, you might need to connect to their Wi-Fi network first so that your phone will be on the same Wi-Fi network that the Chromecast is already on. And now, unfortunately, it is a bit different on different brands of phones. On a Google Pixel phone, or other phones with software similar to Google Pixels, you can simply pull down from the top of the screen once to see your notifications, and then pull down again to get to this quick settings menu. And now, somewhere in here, you should have a cast screen button. It might not say cast screen, it might say something slightly different, or it might not say anything at all. It might just be this cast icon, but you basically just need to look through all the options in here and find a icon that shows the little cast icon there. So you might have to swipe to a different page to find it, but Timmy's is right here. And then once you've found the cast button, you'll just need to tap on it like this. And now it will bring up a list of all the available Chromecast and Google Home devices that are currently connected to this Wi-Fi network. And as you can see, Timmy has quite a lot of these devices. You might only have one or two, but in this list, you just need to find and tap on the Chromecast that you want to cast to. It should be named fairly obviously. So if we look through here, Studio Chromecast, that seems like the correct one here. So we'll tap on that and now Depending on what phone you have, it might give you an option to either cast a single app or cast your entire screen. This option might not come up on some phones. It might just immediately start casting your entire screen and that's fine. But if you have a phone that does give you this option, if you want to, you can leave it set to a single app and then it will ask you which app you want to cast and then it will only cast that app. So it won't show any of your notifications, or if you go into another app, it won't show that. You'll only see this one app. So that's probably a pretty good option for most uses, but if you want to show everything on your phone screen and go into multiple apps, you can choose entire screen here. But to start with, Timmy's going to go with a single app and tap start casting, and now, it will ask you which single app you want to cast. So if you've recently been using the app, you can scroll across in this list of recently used apps. Or if you haven't had it open recently, you can scroll down here and choose from any of your apps. But Timmy's going to go with Google Chrome here. So we'll tap on that. And now if we look at the TV, it's casting just Google Chrome from Timmy's phone. So you can't see anything else but everything inside Google Chrome is showing exactly what Timmy's phone is showing in Google Chrome. And we can tap around and do anything we want inside Google Chrome, and anything we do would just be shown on the TV for everyone to see it. But because we chose just a single app, if we pull down the notifications here, that's not going to show up on the TV. 
Or if we go out of Google Chrome and open up a different app, we'll see the different app on Timmy's phone screen, but it will still be showing Google Chrome on the TV. So if you want to be able to cast something onto the TV from your phone, but then also be able to switch to different apps on your phone and not show that on the TV, this can be really handy. But if you want to show all the different apps on the TV, you're going to want to choose your entire screen. So when you're done with casting, you will just pull up and go back to the Chromecast button again and tap on that here and then just tap disconnect. And as you can see, it'll stop casting and everything will just go back to normal. So you have your phone screen not casting and the Chromecast will go back to just showing pictures. But if you pull down and go back to the cast option again and choose the correct Chromecast again, if we change it to entire screen and tap start casting, now it will be casting to me's entire phone screen on the TV. So as we can see, we're currently looking at the quick settings menu here and it's showing the quick settings menu on the TV. And if we go out of that and go into an app, it'll show us that app and we can do whatever we want in that app and that'll all show there. Then we can go into a different app and type stuff in there or something. Just anything you do on your phone will be shown on the TV exactly as it is. And as you might have noticed, when you're casting to the TV, it's just playing this slither on the TV. There's a lot of dead black space on either side. And that's really just because phones are tall and skinny and TVs are really wide. And there's not a lot you can do about that. It just makes it not quite ideal. What you can do is you can try turning your phone on its side so that the screen rotates like this. And that can make it a bit better in some apps. Some apps will act really weird when you do this, but some apps will work pretty well. And as you can see, it's now taking up most of the TV. So that could be an option. But apart from that, there's not really a lot you can do about it. You just have to put up with the fact that there will be some wasted space on the TV screen. But apart from that, we're now done with casting. So we'll now pull back up to go in here and tap on cast and tap disconnect. And now once again, the casting will be stopped and the Chromecast will go back to normal and the phone will not be casting anymore. So that's all there is to it. If you're on a pixel phone or a similar phone that has a cast option in the quick settings, but if you're on a Samsung phone or perhaps another phone that has similar software to Samsung's, if we pull down to get the notifications and then pull down to get to the quick settings menu, if you look through here, you might notice there is simply no cast button in here. And that's pretty annoying, but don't worry. There is one option that will work on any Android phone, no matter what brand it is and that's by using the Google Home app. The Google Home app is the app you use to initially set up and control a Chromecast or a Google Home device and things like that. So if you have set up your Chromecast or a Google Home or something in the past, you probably already have the Google Home app on your phone. But if you don't have that app because someone else set up all of these devices and you just want to cast to it, you can just quickly go to the Play Store and search for Google Home and you can install it for free here. It's quite a popular app, so you can just install that and then sign in with your Google account when you open it. So Timmy already has it here, so we'll pull it up here. And now you'll need to go to the Devices tab on the bottom of the screen here. And now in here, you'll need to tap on the Chromecast that you want to cast your screen to. So if you have set up your Chromecast and maybe a few other devices, and it's all connected to your Google account, you should see a whole lot of devices all connected in rooms like this and set up properly. 
But if you didn't set any of this up and if none of it's linked to your Google account and you just connected to the Wi-Fi and you want to cast to it, don't worry. If we go into Timmy's demo account here, which hasn't been linked to any of these devices, under the Devices tab, you'll have a section called Local Devices, and that will just show you any Chromecast devices on your current Wi-Fi network that you can cast to. So regardless of who set up the Chromecast or what's linked to what account, as long as you're on the right Wi-Fi network, the Chromecast should always appear in this local devices list. So we'll tap on Studio Chromecast here because that's where we want to cast to. And you could request invite to home and be connected to everything like that, but you don't actually need to do any of that. All you need to do is tap cast my screen here. So we'll tap that and your phone will give you quite a few prompts actually to say, are you sure you want to cast and you want to do that? So we'll tap cast screen and start now. And now it is casting. So we can see the phone is currently looking at the Google Home app. So we can see the Google Home app on the TV. But if we go out of that app, we can now see the home screen and we can go into a different app. And now we're looking at Google Drive on the TV. So anything you do on the phone will now show on the TV even if the casting feature is not built into the phone's software. So you can now just open up any app you want and do anything you want on your phone and it'll all show on the TV. Once again, just like with Pixel phones, because the shape of a phone is very different to the shape of a TV, you will have a lot of wasted space with big black bars either side. If you wanna try to fix that, you can go into whatever app you want to use and then rotate your phone so it's sitting on its side. And sometimes it doesn't want to rotate. There we go. Rotate it like that. And that way the phone screen shape will be more similar to the TV. So you'll be able to use more of the TV screen. And a lot of apps on a phone can act quite weird when you turn your phone like this. So to me, probably wouldn't necessarily recommend it a lot of the time, but if you really want to try and use up all of the screen, that can be a way to try and help. Or you can just put up with having a big tall rectangle like that, but that's all there is to it. Now, when you're done with casting and you want to stop, you'll just go back into the Google Home app here and you can tap stop mirroring here if you still see this menu. If it's not there, you might need to close that and find the Chromecast again and tap on it. And then you can tap stop mirroring. And now the TV will stop showing what's on your phone screen and it will go back to showing just normal pictures. And the phone will go back to normal and stop casting. And that's all there is to it. No matter what Android phone you have, you'll be able to cast your phone screen onto the TV. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil will see you in the next one.